check this out. Um, this next song uh, was actually inspired and written um, by an email that I got. And we get a lot of emails from people who are really, you know, going through it, going through trials in their life. But this one really stuck out to me because you see this girl wrote about how, man, she was living in this storefront on this dirty, nasty couch. And just everything that she described, it was so descriptive that, man, I sat back at my house and I had my laptop in front of me. I was just like, man, I just was looking at it. And I was like, God, you know, it's like, I'm overwhelmed right now, but she's so far away. Like, what can I do to help her? What can I do in her situation? And God really taught me in that moment about faith and what it means to that. You know what? God is so much bigger than we can even imagine. He's so beautiful. He's so wonderful. And so many times we fail to recognize that. We get so caught up in the entertainment, the stages, the celebrities, everything going on. And it's like, man, have I ever take a second to stop? Look up and say, man, God, you are beautiful. You are wonderful. But man, in this song, I want to sing it. You know, I know we're here today, but I want to sing it to you guys. And if there's somebody out there today who, man, you feel rejected, you feel neglected, you feel like you don't have hope, you don't feel like you have pers purpose, and maybe today you're all the way at the back. Maybe you're across the street and you can hear my voice, but for those who can hear my voice today, I'm going to tell you that God sent us here for you, to tell you that he has purpose for you, he has hope for you, and I don't care, man, how messed up, how twisted your life has been, maybe you've been through abuse and you've been through all this stuff, man, despite your situation and what you've been through, God has a plan for your life, and God loves you, and I know you may have heard it a million times, but today, I pray it gets in your heart, check out this verse, oh no, I just lost it, there it is, um, it's one of my favorites, it says, I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. All you who wait on the Lord today. And I don't care if you're 10. Man, I don't care if you're 9. I don't care if you're 6 or 60 years old. Man, today God has a purpose for your life. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this. It's called One More Night. And I just pray that God speaks to you and that you understand that. Man, this isn't, this isn't because we're supposed to get up here and hold the Bible and maybe look like we're Christian because this is a Christian, this is called God stock. How much more Christian can you get? <laughs> it's like, that's not why we're doing this. We speak and we want to share with people and we want to give hope and truth because you see God, God, the God of this universe, Jesus Christ has changed my life. That's why I can speak about this. This is not about religion. This is not about just joining a church. This is about our relationship with Jesus. And so today, and even after, we're going to be hanging out. We're going to be at our table. And if you need prayer, if you need someone to pray with, man, we're here for you guys, okay? Because it's not just about running and jumping on a stage. It's about you guys and about your life. So I hope you enjoy this song.